The investigation into indicted Capitol Hill IT worker Imran Awan uncovers new information implicating dozens of House Democrat lawmakers who violated cybersecurity policies. One America's John Hines has more on the Inspector General's report from Washington. More than 40 Democratic members of the House of Representatives appear to have violated congressional rules by waiving background checks on indicted IT worker Imran Awan and his associates according to an inspector general's report. After the House inspector general determined that Imran Awan and his family members made unauthorized access to House data and were funneling data off the House network by abusing their positions as IT guys, a lot of people wondered how did they get into this place? And it turns out that, um, just as people had suspected, the Democrats did not run a background check on these guys. This despite a House information security policy that says House offices shall conduct background checks on privileged users, meaning server administrators, says Luke Rosiak, who uncovered this information for the Daily Caller News Foundation. But there was a loophole to the House policy. Now, the loophole says basically you can have a different member of Congress vouch for them and make a, quote, trustworthiness determination. A trustworthiness determination used by 44 Democratic members of Congress. Had they checked, they might have been surprised to find multiple red flags, says Rosiak. Background checks on these guys, this family, including uh, Imram and his brother Abid, would have turned up a number of problems. Both Imram and, Medi and Abid had uh, multiple uh, misdemeanor criminal convictions for petty crimes. Abid had a one million dollar bankruptcy. Um, they also had a dozen lawsuits involving family members, a lot of them involving fraud. And one of those lawsuits showed that they took a hundred thousand dollars from an Iraqi government official who's a fugitive from the U.S. and has been tied to Hezbollah. But the IG report also honed in on one particular IT server that belonged to the Democratic caucus headed in 2016 by then-Congressman Javier Becerra, who is now California's Attorney General. The IG report kind of hones in on this one particular server as being the prime evidence, and that's the, uh, the server of the House Democratic Caucus. The chairman of the caucus was Javier Becerra, who's California Attorney General now, and when he left office in January, they said, all right, we're going to go take that server now because we need it as evidence, and when they went there, they found that it was a completely different server than he had had just a month prior. I asked Javier Becerra about it at an event here in Washington uh, a month or two ago, and he said, said, I can't talk about it, it's an ongoing investigation. So he didn't deny it. For any reporters who ask Javier Becerra, was your server stolen, the House Democratic Caucus server? I don't think he's going to say no, because I know from the highest level officials uh, in government that that's exactly what happened, and it was essentially evidence tampering. Although House leaders have refused to act, Imran Awan has been indicted on charges of bank fraud, and an investigation by the U.S. Attorney's Office continues. John Hines, One America News, Washington. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call today.